uh, a gift into keeping it simple. It's a gift. Like uh, they have the tendency to pull you into different directions and you might get into that direction that they're taking you and keep going around and going around. But no, 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 no. It's very, very simple. So that's why he's uh, our favorite. He's gifted in keeping it simple. He has been uh, a teacher uh, for many, many years and um, he will keep repeating the same until they get it. It's simple stuff. So my personal uh, idea, belief about all this is that I don't do debates because they belong in the past. I did one debate on this channel with um, a Christian who believes in evolution. I gave him the facts. He's still an evolutionist. I'm done. I'm not going to sit around and debate things that are uh, stupid. Now, I'm not calling the people stupid. I mean, it's so stupid, man. And and I, uh, I admire Dr. Hovind because when he is having those types of debates, he is clearly treating them as friends. And he's like, guys, wake up, wake up. But, and he, uh, he has no reason. There is at, there is zero reason at all why Kent Hovind would have to or even need to uh, treat these people with any type of respect because respect is one of those things that is earned. It is not. Uh, it is not. That is, right a, to be there. that is a good, a very good uh, response to everybody that is attacking him. That he is insulting, and he's no, he's not. At some point, if you pull on the strings, oh, you're gonna get your insult. I mean, here's the thing, Ken. I don't think you know the mechanisms of evolution, so I'm asking you. I think you're talking about something that you don't know anything about. So I would love to provide evidence for this, but you, like, I don't think you know what the topic is actually about. So, like, in my class, when I teach intro evolution, there are... So how, the, <clears throat> how this actually works, this ad hominem, is that even if he didn't, he does understand them. But even if he didn't, does what he say not make sense? That's the problem here. He's trying to present it like, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. While they have zero evidence of an intermediate species from one to the other. They say when it comes to human, we haven't found the missing link and creation is safe. There is no chain. It's not one missing link that you're looking for. There is no chain. Then they will tell you, oh, we found Lucy and uh, we know that she was an intermediate between uh, a step between um, humans and monkeys. But if you look into Lucy, which is another name for Lucifer, by the way, um and they say oh it's because they were listening to beatles uh when they found her yeah but um they must have been listening to beatles for a long time because every bone was found uh, miles away from the other bone and they put them together and they said hey look it's an intermediate species well so anyway um continue. those little children Go. that they all gathered here today uh, they don't. They weren't born when he was winning debates, and they are like, "Hey, look! I have a camera, I have a computer, I am gonna be a master debater." I mean, a master debate. Um, and they put that in a textbook, and we are paying for that. We are paying for that lying propaganda to be taught at at schools and are at our children with our own money that's why it matters that it's a religion because it should be labeled as religion and it shouldn't be taught in public schools but if he repeats that then you will have this uh done saying i cannot hear the same script i cannot hear the same script well things don't change 
evolution is still being taught in all biology classes as reality, when it has zero proof. When something doesn't have proof, it is a religion. If you want to call it science, bring the darn proof. At least we, creationists, acknowledge it's a religion. But they don't. They call it science. And that's where the war starts. I, I, brought, I brought, brought him over here. Um, but, um, Abdullah, the problem is, Ken, is Hoven claims to be an expert on evolution, but can't explain what it is. Again, missing the big picture. Ken Hoven explains what evolution is better than the evolutionists explain what it is. Yeah, because they will get you in all the word salads and you're going to miss the picture, which is that things must have changed and we are all re related. So they're going to get into the relationships right now. And you don't have to be evolution an evolutionist to have an IQ uh, of like 50, you know, to see that this is not possible. So eukaryotes involves a process called horizontal gene transfer and recombination. We all know what recombination is, how that works. It happens even when humans reproduce, right? When when mom and dad and the, the, the recom Genetic recombination happens. Good. We're all on the same page with recombination. Kent, I have heard you describe that process in the most bananas terms I've ever heard in my life, where you say that the DNA from mom unzips and the DNA from dad unzips, and then the half strand from mom and the half strand from dad zip up together. Is that your understanding of how recombination works? Suppose. That is how it works with it's literally how it works <laughs> that's it yeah it gets a little bit more detail but that's what a gift is to be able to describe things easily for children and people of that level who are children spiritually so for ken hovind this discussion is like uh, he's teaching uh preschool you know yeah, when his when when his intelligence level and the way that he could talk about this is uh, he could talk about this in a much higher level of detail in a much more scientific manner, but it will get lost on those that are uh, just tuning in and uh, are not that are not that. And overall, uh, overall, he has said before that his gift is to. Make, make things, things simple so people can understand them. But do you know why he speaks uh, simply like that and the other guy on the bottom right uh, have to get them more complicated? It's an ego thing. You know? There are simple. some things that you don't need too many credentials. And Dr. Hovind has enough credentials to play with all these little children. There enough. He has been doing debates with professors in universities because he was a professor in university too, and he has not one doctor degree. I do, I don't remember how many. I think it's three. So uh, enough enough with that at home in them again. Let's let's proceed. Exactly. Dan, 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 let. let Please, let's allow Ken to respond. If you disagree you with his explanation, I'm, I'm good, y'all. I'm, I'm good. I'm good, y'all. Cool. Cool. Have a good night. Cool. I'm good. I'll I think Amy's drinking Kool-Aid. Oh, these guys, I mean, dude. Uh, oh, in, case, in case you weren't watching, uh, she, he picked up something and drank something, and I'm like, it looked like Kool-Aid to me. I need Kool-Aid with a few shots of vodka in, <laughs> while I listen to some of these guys. I mean, sorry. I may be Christian, but, man. Uh, yeah, and look at I, this I, now. He's, he's going to go. He's like, okay, I'm done. I'm done. He's going to run out. Yeah, when he just over-talked Kent throughout the entire thing. I don't Biased. But at the yeah. same time, if he points out something which is completely true and everyone, everyone saw it, that that was an evolutionist quiz and when he didn't get the answer that he was waiting for it was like ah, i'm done i'm done so that was not proof of evolution and was that guy a teacher i missed whenever he joined is he a teacher does he teach children mm, yep uh 
I hope I hope their parents see that because um, I wouldn't want my kids to be around somebody who seems uh, very mentally unstable, like with all the little mannerisms and everything like that. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. It makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't like it. I don't like it. Look who decided to join his house as the uh, hey, butlers have been cleaning. Are you guys watching a horror movie? I okay. see. It's I see AJ on the screen, and I'm thinking you guys are trying to terrify innocent oncomers, or what? It's a tragic comedy. Ah, uh, yes. The comedy Compared? is AJ's face, and the tragedy <laughs> is that it's his reality. Oh, well, there's a lot of comedy. He's just a little portion of it. I'm not going to get into specifics. Uh, well, compared to Amy, I think... Hey! No. I, 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 <laughs> no. No, I don't know. Um, I gotta say, Amy came on our show once, and yep. he was really nice. So oh, I good. really don't have a lot bad to say about Amy. Oh, good. I, Neither I, do I. I haven't been around when um, when he was here. Man, if she could teach some of those... Uh, she? Some of the... Well, <laughs> you know... If Amy could rub some of those mannerisms off on schmucks like Atheist AJ, that would have been awesome. Grayson's not bad, but he is annoying because he believes so much crap. Yeah, and even here, uh, Grayson has been proving that at least he has the level of uh, being able to have a discussion. Even though Gray he Grayson more. can. Yeah. Yeah, no, um, you're right, one, hundred like, percent. So I don't know. This was like an idea uh, that was going back and forth because uh, this is a very good debate, uh, showing everyone together. Because once you go to their channel, you take them seriously, but once you see them all together, that nobody has a point against the true points, you know who they are, and it's a win-all situation just with one video, you know. You want me Truck to get driving it? Billy, why don't you build a bridge and get over it? And <laughs> if you don't like that, you could always just not come to the channel. Uh, I'm sure while you're driving your truck out there, Billy, there's other channels that you could visit. So you have that as an option. Here, I'll get. I'll, I'll give him a little uh, head start. And I think, yeah, I, uh, I think he got here because I banned his uh, other account. Uh, I don't know. I feel like 2024 looks like my banning year. I feel fly, f throwing them around. I mean, I'm fine with it because if you think about it, we have never once banned anybody for being a pleasant individual. Like, not once. No one's ever been like, you know what, Steven, that guy is too nice. Can we please get rid of him? Never. <laughs> We only ban the douchebags, and somehow Atheist AJ has not made that list yet. We'll talk about it. Let me continue Continue this. Yes. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Nasty remark. Where are all these, like, creatures of the night coming from? Did Walmart know. close and they just flood over from Walmart? I don't know how these people know so much personal information about them. Thank God. Thank God I did not give my phone number, email, and shoot, I don't even want to give my name out to these people because uh, they want to They want to get so personal. It's honestly kind of creepy. And you should be able to count to anybody. Anyone should be able to agree that that should count as evidence. So now I will say that evolution predicted several of these. Like we... Chromosome 2 came up last time. I won't go into that because we discussed it in the last open mic. I'll talk about a different testable prediction that has been verified, and that is one of missing links, right? It was predicted since Darwin that we should find missing links between, like, non-human apes and human. Ah, uh, this is a question he asked on our show. I'm curious to see how Mr. Dr. Hovind uh, answers it or between fish and tetrapods, and we have found those links. Specifically, I wanted to ask you about Australopithecus, um, or like early Homo erectus, anywhere between like the Homo habilis, anywhere between where we can see the transition happen. We, we see that, and we never find any modern humans below where we find Australopithecus. Like, there you go. That, that should count as a verified prediction of evolution. We predicted that we would find 
non-human apes that are more similar to humans than to chimpanzees. And that's exactly what we found with Australopithecus. Uh, that was clever. Okay. We find fossils in the dirt. You don't know Australopithecus had any children whatsoever. You don't know it's related to anything today. Are there animals that are found that are new species that are discovered? Like, for instance, take a flying squirrel, okay? They appear to be able to glide through the air. Does that evidence that they're changing to a bird? Or are they designed to be a yeah. flying squirrel? Maybe Australopithecus was always designed to be an Australopithecus and it went extinct. You don't know it changed to something today. No human today produces other than humans. No ape today produces other than apes. No orangutans, bonobos, all the ape-like creatures, they, they simply don't do this. So if you wish to imagine that it happened and that you find a link between them because you think this was what it should look like, that's, that's not, oh, here you go, here you go. You are a primate. This author probably is one, okay? But they, gorillas are still <laughs> making babies and they're always gorillas every time. Gibbons are making gibbons and they're all, if I found something that looked to me like half gorilla, half gibbon, that wouldn't prove there's any relationship. Maybe there's 20 types of creatures that are extinct on here. So that's not evidence for your theory. You can put it in your folder for evidence, and I would rebut it and say, Your Honor, that's not evidence. Maybe you found something that went extinct. You right. don't know that they're related. You don't know they had any children. Right. So nothing that you brought up there was relevant because it doesn't matter right. whether or not these Australopithecus fossils had any children. It doesn't. Look, 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 look. You just, I mean, you just answered my question, thoroughly <laughs> debunked me and wrecked me. But look, none of that is significant and none of that matters. Okay. Now, let me make a completely random point and pivot. I mean, shall we see? Shall we continue and see? Let's see the let's see the mental gymnastics. Get your get your let's reason. see. Let's see the great Grayson pivot. Yes. It doesn't matter if they were directly related. It really none of that matters. The fact that they exist. Oh. And we find the following. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Exactly what oh my God. It doesn't matter if we know they're related. Even though the claim is that they're related, it doesn't matter if we know they're related. We have found them. What? And if, we, and what? if they didn't have. It, and if they didn't have children, we Wait don't care. Wait a minute. Who are you? Like, and I mean, what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I need to know how many times Grayson was dropped as a baby. I need to know this in my life. Well, oh, no. it looks like Grayson's eating his booger here, so this was a good point. And it looks like AJ caught him eating his booger. Or gave it to him. Uh, sitting side to side. The booger is AJ's, and AJ's like, why did you eat my booger? <laughs> and Dr. Hoven's over there like these guys may have came from monkeys. And he's oh, uh, yeah, I mean maybe the you booger believe man. you came from an ape, then you probably did. Then... It wasn't me. Well it wasn't me. So it was you, Lupin. Yeah, no, it was me. It was a tab. Jordan, I don't know if you want to subject yourself to this. It's kind of too late for us. Our brain cells are killed. But we this just, is poor, poor Dr. Hoven taking on a whole room of just the worst educated atheists on the planet. 